Ran into a couple problems. All that fence is done. Gates are shut. You know what that means. Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, it kind of looks like a crazy place right now, but doing something very exciting, doing something that's been very anticipated for. You know, I always bring you along on this whenever I do it. Um, ran into a couple problems, uh, a couple delays, but uh, it's about that time. If you know what I talk about, it's letting the bison out in a new pasture. You guys are probably tired of me seeing me build fence and whatnot. We just had a, a pond cleaned and a little bit of dozer work done, as you can tell here on this fence line, got a lot of it pushed. I'll show that to you guys later. Uh, when these guys pushed with a bulldozer, I told them, I asked them to clean this lane for me. Um, and uh, because I knew we were gonna have to build this fence uh, with my neighbor to the north eventually. And so what I did was when they come down here, this was the fence that um, I just had to make one little patch before I let the bison out. And then they snapped uh, they snapped the line in one place and then a tree fell in two places. So um, I had a major delay and I've spent um, part of my Saturday evening and a lot of my Sunday out here um, without Brooks and Marissa. Basically, they came to visit me for a little bit and brought me some snacks. Uh, which sucks, but I've been very, very anxious and um, to, to get this all done. And that's why I'm out here on a Sunday trying to patch this fence up. And this is a fence that was is good enough to get us by. And then they came through and knocked a couple of trees on it. No big deal. We, we got it all worked out. And um, it's just a lot more work when you're not building a new fence and you're repairing an existing um, because I'm trying to save money. I've, I've been doing all this work on new fence. We have good neighbors and I think that they'll help me on this uh, in the future um, replace it all um, because they care about fencing and I think they'll help me with it. So this was a fence that we could just get by with and it would be fine and we will build a new one in the future. That's why I got go ahead and got this lane cleared but I got to work it out with my neighbors. No big deal but you can see right here there uh, if you see this right here you know spliced in a lot of places and this was a place where a tree fell down and, and snapped it and you just have to come back through and tie it up and then restretch every single one of them fix all of uh the gaps where they busted and replace it this is just a place right here where one of them had snapped there's one of my favorite trees right there fence line destroyer right there cedar tree the point is guys all that fence is done south fence is done north run of the fence is done this fence is patched up gates are shut you know what that means let's go let the big joe herd out look at all that new growth right here i don't know what that is probably bermuda but I love it. You can see it really good right now because of the sunset, but that's all new growth right here on this fence line. It's awesome. A little bit of rain makes a difference. All right, guys, it is that time. It's getting late, but I hustled and hustled and hustled. But uh, it is time to go let the bison out. Got a feed sack, not a sack of feed to trick them a little bit. We're gonna see if they'll actually follow me out the gate. Of what they're probably gonna do, because they've been locked up for several days and I've been preparing them through this for this. They're probably gonna start eating grazing. So if they do, it'll take them a second before they actually run through the gate to the new pasture. So I'm excited, here we go.
guys. All right. Man, it is so fun. And one of my favorite things to do is let the bison out. And um, next day, back out here, um, you can tell there's some clouds. And yes, it is raining. Uh, good forecast up ahead. We've had some rain since I've seen you last, which is awesome. And uh, still projecting more rain. We need a lot more to catch up uh, for the drought we've been in obviously we still need lots of rain but very blessed and thankful for the rain um so right now so i'm walking around i'm in pasture one uh the very first pasture that we had our bison in i've showed you the, i've showed you the descriptions of it it's got this pond in it the pond is slowly uh, filling up some with a little bit of rain we're getting here and there but uh one important thing about this pasture here is uh this pasture is now in recovery stages it, it needs recovery time it's had lots of animals on it it had a burn on it an accidental fire so it's it's gone through that it's gone through a lot of grazing but it is already turning green a few weeks ago you can go back and watch some of my videos this place was very very brown and uh, with a little bit of rain here and there it has turned green which is very awesome so uh, i am actually walking through pasture one where there's no animals uh but um, yearlings are over here. We're about to run into them. And uh, so while we're letting uh, pasture one recover, uh, pasture two is still in, uh, got the yearlings in them. And what we're do gonna do is, since I put the Big Joe herd in a pasture three slash four, um, the 40 acres that we just finished, they're roaming in it. There's plenty of grass for them. Once we do the nine acres, once we get the nine acre halfway spot finished got a little bit of fencing on it i may have richard do it for me since he's caught up on um, um cutting hay and whatnot there's no cutting hay this right now so um we will hopefully move the big joe herd in there to uh to the pasture non halfway which gives pasture three and four a chance for the yearlings which i have 21 i have 22 yearlings in that because i lost one um, from toxicity. Anyways, why am I walking? Well, right now I am walking across here because I had a little battery issue on my Polaris Ranger. So I am strolling through the pasture, enjoying the rain here at the uh, beginning of September. I'm gonna stop and visit with the yearlings here, check on them. I still have to give them some hay because this pasture right here that they're in doesn't recover fast enough because there's 22 of them out there. So uh, but uh, hopefully soon we'll get them out on some new pasture. And uh, But had a Polaris Ranger uh, battery go out on me. I've had the Ranger for about, oh, three years now. And, you know, they just eventually uh, wear out. So I had to get a new battery, and that's where I'm headed is to the Polaris Ranger. Down here, parked in the woods. Let's take a look at the yearlings right here. What's everybody running for? I get so excited when I see these uh, when I see these yearlings. They look so good. They're uh, these are awesome animals from uh, Wolverine Bison in Canada, and then some from uh, Dakota Pure Bison uh, or Antelope Creek Bison in South Dakota. They're just beautiful animals, and you got hoss right here. Uh, our bull that I also purchased from South Dakota as well. 22, and then we've got two of mine in here. If you're just not following us, uh, I brought two of mine over that we raised uh, and we had a uh, part of the Dunbar herd over here. And so, yeah, but this is the pasture right here. You can see how close they are. This is a pasture right here where I just let, me and Marissa just let the Big Joe herd out. And uh, what a fun time that is. And uh, it was getting really late. I will say that it, it was getting a little late, but I tell you what, I hustled my butt off that day. I spent most of the Sunday after we ate uh, breakfast together. Uh, I spent most of my Sunday out here patching up the fence. It took me about six or seven hours and I finally got it. And I know some of you are going six or seven hours. Well, it was more of a almost new fence before it was all said and done just to get it right. And because you just want to be secure. 
uh, about when you let these animals go because if they get out we got a problem so really wanted to make sure that fence was in good shape and it was still a patch job but it had to be a really good patch job to get it done so but we hit the evening just right um sun was setting and the uh there was a storm coming from the north and had some lightning and stuff and you know it's funny you always hear about the bison going into the storm um snowstorm thunderstorm whatever it is they face it and uh it was just a perfect setting for that because they're on the south end of the pasture when we first caught up to them and uh marissa and i sit there and they just were going north straight to the storm and just a cool a cool moment and cool experience to uh to actually see that and i know it's just a thunderstorm but you know the whole idea was going on and they were walking right towards it so that was fun for us to watch that Well, made it back to the ATV. Look who I found. Nice. Well, I guess they heard me or saw me, but they all showed up to see what was going on here. Got the whole crew. Good to see you guys. And the big guy. Everybody's getting a good shower. Uh, so this is the area I patched up bulldozer went through here and knocked a couple of trees on the fence line and so basically I had to put up a new new fence right there partially new fence but it's so funny these bison look so different when they're wet <laughs> it's funny they're hanging out in the woods getting out of the rain right now guess I did an extra good a job of training these guys with the ATV to get them to follow me because <laughs> oh, we just ran 150 yards and I just moved this far and they ran the whole time which is fun you know to to run next to them and whatnot makes you a little nervous but um yeah I think I'll stay inside the ATV so I guess the uh rain has got them going they, they, I know they love the rain they love the cold Anytime we get something like that, they are always super excited, basically, as you could tell. One of the things that I always do is when I let animals out or when I let my bison out into a new pasture is I thank people and uh, give them recognition where it's due. I want to thank Kevin, Cole, and my nephew, Weston, for the help on uh, getting this new fence put in and that fence, their help um knocking knocking out a couple of things on the fence and, and just helping me finish it um really want to thank cole weston and kevin for helping me on that 
I also need to give a shout out to Daniel for always letting me use his welder to get the work done. He lets me keep the welder um, basically most of the time. He hardly ever has his own welder. So uh, very thankful for him for to let me just keep the welder and then whenever he needs it, I take it to him basically. And so uh, thankful for him for that. And then also I need to thank my wife and Brooks for letting me come out here and work on the weekends. And uh, Marissa spent a lot of time with Brooks and while I'm out here working and doing stuff and trying to hustle on this fence, I think this fence um, from the beginning of me pushing trees and with the skid steer and um, it's a lot of work and then actually building the fence mostly by myself with, with the exception of uh, some help from those guys that I mentioned. You know, I miss a lot of time away from uh, Marissa and Brooks and uh, so I thank my wife for for being patient with me and trying to hustle uh, so I could get the, uh, these bison on some grass, which is where they need to be. All part of Project 189 as we try to expand more and more. Once we get this little nine acres done right here, this little uh, thousand yards of fence, then we'll be halfway through um, the first half of our land as far as fencing goes. Then we'll keep going uh, south and west, which is where the rest of it is. And, I can't wait to introduce you to that half of all of the land um, once we get that, once we get back there. But I want to thank all of them for their help. I think it's good to appreciate all those people um, when you accomplish something like this. And it is an accomplishment for me is to slowly get these bison on more and more grass. And that's the whole goal here. You guys have been following me a long time. You know what it's all about. So got a couple of exciting videos coming up. This pond right here is going to be on an upcoming video very soon. Uh, this pond was one of the driest ponds, almost completely dry. And uh, this is what I call the nine acre lot. Pond was so dry, but it's a big pond and I like the layout of it. But uh, it got cleaned up, the dam cleaned off. And it got a lot of that silt cleaned out of it. And um, basically the pond just got cleaned out and made deeper and a little bit wider uh, because it became, you guys know that ponds over time uh, fill in with silt and whatnot and so that was fun to watch and see the transformation of that can't wait for you guys to see that and then i got something else for you guys very very exciting very unexpected and uh i'm gonna lead you on a little bit but <laughs> it'll be in my one of my upcoming videos i promise i'm gonna bring it to you and it has to do with the dunbar herd so i'm gonna go over there next and check on them and see what is going on at the Dunbar place. I brought you some some uh, fun and good news. You know, we've had kind of a rough summer and then uh, we, you know, we we ran into losing a yearling and then some good things happen and uh, or something good. I guess some good luck maybe somewhere. Anyways, uh, can't wait to bring that to you guys over the Dunbar Herm. I'll show you that next time. Hey, thank you guys for watching us. Thank you for being a part of this journey. We are literally growing and being able to put these animals in this pasture that's a little too close i'm gonna scoot here in the middle <laughs> we are literally growing uh just being able to put these guys here in, in this 40 acre pasture plenty of room for nine animals uh nine adults and two calves plenty of room what are you doing over there smelling look at the big guy there just hanging out thank you guys for watching us we'll see you soon